Welcome back to Donna and Friends. With me today in studio is Tracy Caulfield, and she is currently our assistant chamber person at Cushing Chamber of Commerce. And Tracy, big changes in store for you. Yes, a lot of yes. big changes. We've yes. got five months and counting. So. <laughs> so there's a little clock that's ticking things down because you're going to move from the position of assistant Mm -hmm. to our new chamber director. Yes, yes, it's gonna be quite a jump. Are you excited, nervous? I'm really excited. I'm not quite as nervous as I thought I was going to be. Um, I'm, I'm really excited for it. I'm ready to, to, to plunge in. Now you've so. been working at the chamber for how long now? A year and six months. Okay, so you have had a full year of events mm -hmm. to, to kind of get your feet wet on everything yes. that goes on within the chamber. So. I would think that you feel pretty well prepared. Yeah, I'm pretty well prepared, and I know a lot. Uh, I've met everyone um, that I would need to meet to uh, for the committees to get everybody organized, um, all the way to representatives, uh, our state representatives. So I think that I have a pretty good um, familiarity with everyone that I can just call them up and say, hey, this is Tracy from the chamber. And they won't be like, huh, I don't know. Right. You know? And that's so. very important when <laughs> yes, you're needing is. to start to get things done and organized and touching base and all of that. Yeah. Now, Tracy, let's step off the chamber for a little bit and let's talk about you. Okay. Let's talk about where you came from. Okay. I came from um, a little town called Olpe, Kansas. Uh, I grew up there until I was a senior in high school, so I was about 17, just turned 17. And then my stepfather's uh, job got transferred down here uh, to Tulsa, and we moved to Olive, Oklahoma, and I spent my senior year there. So, Big Olive, Oklahoma, yes. which is our neighbor. Yes. When we love Olive, yes. we get a lot of great people coming out of the Olive area. Mm -hmm. Now, when you were growing up in Kansas, Wizard of Oz, Yes. were you Dorothy every year? I did. I was Dorothy a couple years, actually. Oh. I was also the lion, the scarecrow, the... <laughs> I was just about everything. All the characters. Yes, yes, very much Well, so. if I had lived in Kansas growing up, oh my, I would mm -hmm. have just been beside myself every year when the Wizard of Oz came on. See, that's your home state, so that's yes. really kind of cool. Yes. Um, Tracy, what do you feel like you're going to bring to the chamber? Um, I feel that I'm going to bring, help bring a little bit younger of a vibe. Um, we're going to get a little bit uh, more out there, I think. Our, our, our board is a lot younger. I'm younger. Um, just a lot more ideas and things that are up to date. Um, not to say or take away from anything right. um, that Brent has established because he has done a lot for our chamber. Um, when he first came in five years ago, it was just him all by himself. Oh, yes. He didn't have an assistant, and he built that chamber up and got mm -hmm. it active again. Mm -hmm. And I want to keep that going. I want to keep that going, and I also want to add to it um, with grabbing some more of uh, these new business owners and um, entrepreneurs that are uh, younger mm -hmm. and start getting them involved with the chamber. It seems that the chamber has this um, aura of being old fuddy-duddy kind of, and I, I want to take that away and show what we can do for their business and kind of push them, push them forward, get them out there. Tracy, what would some of the ideas be that you would want to implement into the chamber for businesses that are chamber members? Have you thought much about that in general, just what you could do to improve upon the businesses being involved with the chamber and the community? Um, we've thought about, uh, and it actually got brought up a lot uh, in our mid-year report, to uh, gather together a retail committee. I guess that was something that was done a long time ago. And I've also seen some uh, videos from Crazy Days that were downtown. Mm -hmm. um, I think that would be important to try to implement again. I think to get our uh, retail community, not just the downtown, but all of our chamber members, uh, to become part of a committee and say, okay, I would like to do this. I would like to have a our own little festival where we can, because I know that Stillwater has a lot of those, yes. um, where it's like $10 at the door for the public and they go in and they get to talk mm -hmm. to all the businesses. They have free giveaways, they have coupons. Come on in, come see us. Right. That's what I would like to see our retail, our businesses come together with our chamber to help push them 
into the public's eye and let people know that they're they're here. There is other things, bes- you know, Walmart's a great chamber member of ours, but yes. we, but have we have wonderful. a lot of family owned businesses as yes. well, and chains. I mean, we've got like Brahms yeah. and Taco Mile, uh, those top put McDonald's, those mm-hmm. type places, but within all of those chains, that's local people. Yes. Just like at our Walmart as well. And then we have the downtown district as mm-hmm. well. And so I think it is quite a challenge. And I think it maybe takes someone younger to, to think of, you know, really get outside a box and start thinking about it because that's a huge challenge of mm-hmm. encompassing all these styles of businesses together. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It, it's going to be quite a challenge, but I think everyone's ready for it. Mm-hmm. I think, I think we've got a young, vibrant, uh, business community wanting to get out there they're just not sure how to do it right and also I don't think they understand uh, how much the chamber can do for them legislatively uh, how much pool that the, that a chamber actually has and yes. speaking for them on, on a on a state house mm-hmm. level um, right. that's a lot that I have learned I had yes. no idea and I think that's very important for our businesses to understand that that's another benefit a huge Absolutely. benefit. If they're wanting us to fight for something, let us know. We'll get right, right in there for them. Now, generally speaking, in January, there's a big membership drive. That's also when the banquet's held and the new president comes in, the past goes out and that type of thing. But businesses are more than welcome to join throughout the year. Yes, at any time. Any time you'd like to come up and talk to us about it, see what we can do for mm-hmm. you and your business. Right. Um, you're always welcome to come up and talk to us and uh, hopefully join. And of course, the two big annual events are always Festival in the Park and Barbecue and Blues. We just came through mm-hmm. that, got another gold star for another one yeah. down there. <laughs> but it's going to be Festival in the Park time soon. Yes, very What's soon. our date for this year? It is um, August, no, excuse me, October 13th. I believe. Okay. All right. I believe. I've only seen it once. So. Yes. <laughs> well, I noted uh, on today's memo, which I just love to get those Monday memos, I noticed that the first meeting is it's here. Yes. Basically. Yes, it is. Um, we will be talking about a lot of things. Uh, uh, we'll be setting out uh, how we're going to form it this year, what new things we're going to do. Um, in the past, we've always had the nonprofit uh, organizations here in town do the food portion. Um, and last year, we just couldn't get very many to be able to do it because they didn't have enough volunteers or so on. Um, so we're going to kind of open that up a little bit. We're still going to allow the you know nonprofits to do it, of course. Right. That's right. one of their biggest fundraisers is yes, festival in the very park important. and it was none of their mm-hmm. fault they just did not have enough people to help mm-hmm. uh, run it um, was most of the case um, so we're just going to allow some other people to come in and do some food too so well festival of the park is something I always look forward to you mm-hmm. know from the involvement of kindergartners on up through our high school we have that going on we also have a little bit of music going on, a little yes. talent that way. It's just a great event. And then the art. Yes. The art is fabulous. Artists come from all over the area to, to showcase their styles of art. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have that program, the awards program, which I think is really a mm-hmm. neat thing for the artist. And that's where you purchase the art awards. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm not really familiar with that. It, it's kind of uh, the Lockermeyer Center's own mm-hmm. right. um, special thing that they do. But that's where we build around. Yes. Um, right. That is the center of the entertainment right there. Right. You know, it's supposed to be. And should be. Mm-hmm. And yes. it is all styles of art from photography to pottery to of course, works on canvas and charcoals. And then, as I said, you know, before we started the se- segment, my favorite jewelry making, yes. you know, <laughs> beautiful pieces of jewelry, all just a wonderful, wonderful thing to go see. Always support local arts, I say. Yes. And this is a great event to do that. Tracy, anything else you want people to know about your upcoming leadership that will take effect in January of 2015? Um. Just that we're going to do a lot of changes. I think our board is going to get together a lot, and um, it's just going to have a younger vibe, I think. I think we're going to really um, get a little bit more uh, more feedback 
uh, from our board members. What would you like to do? What would you like to do? Um, and get some just some fresh ideas. Get get some fresh things going through the chamber. Um, and we're always going to build on what Brent has built. Yes. And what the past presidents have built. Right. Um, with that chamber. So I just I just think it's going to be a great a great change for our community. Well, I know that the chamber depends on volunteers for many, many different things throughout the year. If there's someone watching today that would like to be involved with the chamber or be a volunteer for an event, how do they go about that? Um, they can always call call me or Brent up at the chamber and we'll take down your number and we and will call. Your number is? 918-225-2400. And why don't you give a shout out on the website address as well and tell uh, people. Cushingchamber.org. All right, well, mm -hmm. Tracy, this has been fun yes. to have you come in with me. You need to come back and we'll just do something cray cray. Yeah, <laughs> do something a little different. We'll pick something, you know, <laughs> after you become the chamber <laughs> director, we'll pick something to just really <clears throat> blow the top off. Sounds good to me. This uh, a studio, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, and then I'll probably be looking for another job. Well, <laughs> anyway. Hey, I'm hiring at the I'll, end of the year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boom, you, hear, you heard it here first. Okay, well, Tracy, <laughs> thanks for so much for coming and visiting with yes, me today. Thank I look you. forward to working with you in the future. Yes, very All much right, so. Thank you. Mm -hmm.